in this video. The Bitcoin price is still inside this rising wedge forming within the 4 hour time frame. But guys, take a look at this. The Bitcoin dominance is hinting a potential move for the altcoin market. Stay tuned to know more. <laughs> So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So diba sa ating video kahapon, what we were monitoring was this rising wedge forming in the 4 time frame. And then diba sabi ko sa inyo, you have to watch out for the support because if you're going to get a bounce then that could be a good long opportunity. And diba sabi ko sa inyo, top, traditionally, a rising wedge is a bearish pattern to the downside. And right now, wala pa tayo nakikita ang breakout dito. So sabi ko sa inyo, in order, in order for us to confirm a breakdown, we must have a 4-hour candle close with sell volume upon this 4-hour candle close. But right now, as you can see, wala pa tayong 4-hour candle close below and wala pa din tayong sell volume. So as of the time being, we still don't have any confirmation yet of a bearish movement. And right now, we still have to wait out for this movement pa din in order for us to know kung ano ba magiging next movement ni Bitcoin. But for now, what you can actually do is wing trade the support and then the resistance. And right now, we are at the support and we are actually trying to test the resistance once again. But as you can see, we have a strong resistance dito within this area. So if we are going to get rejected, then our technical target would be around the 28.6k as well as the 27.7k. But remember, that is not yet confirmed, not unless we break the support. So right now, that is what we have to monitor within the Bitcoin price action. And it's actually for us to wait out if you're going to get rejected by this resistance. And if you're going to get rejected, we have to wait out for a quarter candle close in order for us to open a short position up until the 27.7k. But guys, if you want to trade that opportunity na sinasabi ko, you can actually trade that with Bing X. And if you want to claim bonus with Bing X, just use my sign up link and you can find the description down below. And sali din kayo sa ating t-shirt giveaway, guys. We are going to select the winner tomorrow. So if di pa kayo nakasali, you can actually find this one in the description down below. And as you can see, it's a t-shirt if you're going to join with our Bing X t-shirt giveaway. But anyway, let's dive into the altcoin market kasi ito yung gusto ko i-update sa inyo. As you can see right now, we are forming a rising wedge dito sa ating Bitcoin dominance. And traditionally, a rising wedge is a bearish pattern to the downside. And di ba sabi ko sa inyo, whenever the dominance is increasing, that would indicate na altcoins are going to bleed. But if the dominance is going to decline, then that could indicate na altcoins are going to perform better. In that case, that could be a potential altcoin season. So right now, if we are going to monitor this, because look at this, Bitcoin dominance is right now forming a rising wedge. And if we are going to break this, then this can actually pose a potential altcoin season or altcoins are going to remain healthy. So right now, this is what we are going to monitor. If we are going to break this, then we are going to target the support as our target. If we break yan, then that could be a potential altcoin season for our altcoin market. So in that case, this is a very good thing to monitor for the time being if we are going to break this support. But if let's say Bitcoin started declining, if let's say bumagsak si Bitcoin, at the same time nag-decline si Bitcoin dominance, ang mangyari dyan is altcoins would actually more, would more likely move sideways or magka-consolidate siya na nag-breed na konti. Pero ang kagandahan niyan if nag-decline si Bitcoin dominance at the same time bumabagsak si Bitcoin is hindi lalo babagsak yung ating altcoin market. This is actually a good scenario if let's say mag-decline si Bitcoin dominance and of course our altcoins would remain healthy. And then in that case, that could be a good swing tradable opportunity for the altcoin market. So with that being said, let's give you a quick update with Ethereum. So as you can see, Ethereum is actually just consolidating pa din within the support resistance. So for the time being, not much to talk about. But if let's say umakit dito si Bitcoin, tapos umakit siya na umakit lalo, at the same time nag-decline si dominance, then that could indicate na Ethereum is going to move healthier within the coming days. So for now, what I want you to monitor right now is the Bitcoin dominance before entering into any altcoin trade. Kasi right now, this could be a potential indicator right now for the altcoin market if we are going to break the support na ating rising wedge dito sa ating Bitcoin dominance. So right now, that is what you have to monitor within the Ethereum price action. And also, if you want to learn Bitcoin from scratch, if you want to learn trading from scratch, you can actually check out our Gab's Crypto 101 playlist. All you have to do is just type Gab's Crypto 101 sa YouTube and then you can actually find this whole playlist for free. So dito sa ating playlist, makita nyo kung ano ba yung mga iba't ibang tutorials at well as iba't ibang indicators na ginagamit ko dito. So, pakita natin yung isang example ng ating Gab's Crypto 101 playlist. You can actually find this guys in the description down below if you want to learn all of the indicators na sinasabi ko, lahat ng mga terminologies na ginagamit ko. You will learn that in this playlist. So all you have to do is just to find this one in the description down below. And you can also take advantage with our different bonus na you can find within our playlist dito guys. So if you want to learn trading for free, all you have to do is just to check out this playlist and you can find the description down below. 
So ayun muna siguro update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.